His dedication to football and tracking down the tough stories has never waned. Rob Asprey, Ted Whitten presenting the award. Thank you, uh, Rob. Uh, congratulations on uh, winning this award again. And uh, I know that you've been through more stations than Mike Williamson, but you still keep coming up all the time. And I know that you're a prick of a, 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 a roulette player at the casinos because I always followed you in and I've got nothing at the finish. And that's not my type of game. Once I start looking for something, I want it in the finish. With you, I don't get it. But I uh, sincerely wish you well. Uh, come here, Rob. On, uh, and congratulations on your winning award. Well done. Well, I'd like to thank the VFL and uh, Ross Oakley, and uh, I like it. I like it. And Mike Sheehan and uh, Leslie have been a great help during the year. Um, to be perfectly frank with you, when we saw the Channel 9, and this is true, when we saw the Channel 9 cameras come in, um, Tony Jones and myself and Anne-Marie Sparkman said Lou Richards has won this because Lou once said to us, you never turn up at these bloody do's unless you win, and Lou's here, of course. So. <laughs> That's all right. Um, if I can just be serious for just a moment, um, I do want to say there are a couple of people in this room who really have been very good to me. I'm uh, 41 years of age and I've been around for a while and I've made a lot of mistakes and um, things I've regretted in the time. But over the last few years, I've sort of matured a lot. One bloke's not here tonight, his name is Jerry Whiting. I can remember when the Swans were uh, uh, about to go to Sydney, I made a real, if you'll pardon the expression, arsehole of myself down at South Melbourne and Jerry got me aside and he gave me a lecture. And um, that sort of, uh, I learned a lot from Jerry Whiting and I'm really sorry he's not here tonight. Another fellow is Ron Barassi, who I just think is, uh, you know, you heard the expression, a man's man. Well, Barass, uh, I just think, is just the greatest person. He's always been a tremendous influence on me, even when I was a kid at school. And, um, you know, you don't get the chance to say these things these days, but uh, I'll say it now, I still idolise him. And the other bloke is, uh, is Lou Richards. When Lou joined Channel 9, I didn't know him very well, but Lou said, Lou said to me, he said, Rob, what you've got to re remember in this business is use honey, not vinegar, and it really has helped me a lot. If everything ended tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen, or next week, or Friday, for me in this industry, after what I've done, <coughs> I really wouldn't be disappointed because I've achieved far more than I ever thought I would, and I'm very grateful. Grateful to have won, and grateful to have worked with the VFL and fellows like you people in this room. Thanks a lot. Thanks.